Here, I have a Katia geometry, its cavity and the headlamp. I'm going to import it into NCSPOS. In the file option, we have a plenty file supported. Now, I'm going to input the KTI V5 file. Just double click and it's imported. We have several useful functions. For example, when we use material, you can drag and drop material file. If you need to select multiple faces, for example, the black faces on car body, you can select 300 faces using the same color with this function. There is a blank space and it should be a reflector, a light guide. We can create such kind of complex geometry using optical part design. So here we have a reflector. We also have the modeling function in NCSPOS so this geometry can be post-processed. Here I have the high beam reflector. The next one is a simulation preview. It's a quick simulation preview made by GPU, so you can see photometric performance or simply have a preview in a short time. So you can check if your simulation is okay or not before launching a long one. This is the photometric simulation results. Here we have the measurement template. We can check the regulation or use a different criteria. And this is a static rendering. It's a physics-based human vision rendering and you can even do such a kind of dynamic. You can move around the car. The next topic is NCIS working. NCIS PIOS is compatible with NCIS Workbench, so you can put a PIOS analysis system in NCIS Workbench. You can experience optimization and even multiphysics simulation. We created optical geometries from an original KTIA project and we will export these geometries back into KTIA. Just copy the created geometries and paste them into the new project. Then, save them as a KTIA file. Now it's exported. Now, just copy them and paste them in the original project. It's done! We have the optical geometries created in NCSPOS into our original KTIA project.